What's up? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining me today. You know, for another round of the exclusive vibe. Yeah. Don't forget to download the mixes using the YouTube Premium. Uh, you pay a little fee and you can literally download everything you want. And don't forget, check out my SoundCloud for some exclusive stuff. Yeah. I want to talk about my five greatest musicians of my generation. You know what I'm saying? G. I will start off with hip hop. People I listen to most. Number one, Tupac. Why? Everybody know why Tupac. He sounded real. You can relate to him. He was diverse. He had so much knowledge to give to the world. Yeah, we love his music. Always love Tupac. Number two. Notorious B.A.G. Yeah. Yeah, Notorious. Notorious paints a picture of Brooklyn. That's why I love him. Number three, I'll go to Eminem. I love Eminem. Number four, I'll go to Jay-Z. I like Streets is Watching. I like Renegade with Eminem. I like Big Pimpin' with UGK. Even I like most of his party party stuff. That, you know, the commercial stuff he does. Like, I play music for so many different people. And I be trying to see how can I play people from the hood in front of white people. And I be figuring out ways of playing records they can feel. And Jay has some shit they can feel. Real talk. So number four, Jay-Z. Number five. This was a little bit difficult for me because I had two people in that place. I had two people in that place and I feel all of them. You know what I'm saying? But I had to do what I had to do. The two people I had, I had Nas and 50 Cent. I like Nas. Nas didn't really have even to put out more music to me. Like, he did what he did. His stuff was straight classic. There will never be another Nas. But this is it now. Nas had no commercial success. Yeah. Like Nas is only talking to particular people, people like me, people like who like to smoke weed and really <clears throat> give you their attention and try to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to know, like try and pick up some game from a vet. That's people like me that listen. I don't just listen to your beats. I try, you know, like get to know what you're talking about. If I respect you. If I don't respect you, I don't even listen to your crap. I don't want to know what you're talking about. These people I don't respect, they know who they are. I don't listen to them. Because all they do is just play some a little bit of nice beat. And their shit ain't good. But the difference now is he failed. To make it commercially, you know, to another market, to feed other people around the world. He was doing it in New York, no disrespect. He's probably one of the hardest in New York and will always be the hardest in New York. But once you cross New York and go in another country, it's different now. That's why. All right, I had Nas and 50 Cent. Number five. That's why I gotta give it to 50. Like 50. People didn't really like dig 50's game. They didn't understand 50's game. But 50, like, he created a market that many rappers will never create. 
like he has records that's international he has shit for the hood he has some g shit he has some stuff that drive you crazy you know like he has everything stuff for the strip club in the club you know you smoking you're cruising 50 cent so i have tupac notorious big eminem jay-z and 50 cent yeah i know some motherfuckers gonna be talking shit like my shit in real ha 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 you motherfuckers can hate but my shit is real let's get away from there man i'm feeling good man feeling good feeling good feeling good feeling good let's go to r&b five greatest r&b musicians of all time of my generation the ones i feel the ones i listen to the ones that make me chill the ones i relate to you know the ones that sing to me man what the fuck man how can i explain it man you people better start listening to music the way we used to listen to it back in the day when we was growing up you listen to music that gives you something that makes you feel good that teaches you something that gives you some game about life that makes you feel loved all right what are we talking about man I think we're talking about R&B male musicians of my generation. There's so many great ones, but I'm saying people that have material, lyrics, and the beats. Yeah. Number one. I need to pray for this nigga, man. This nigga been going through so much shit. I don't even know the devil on his tail putting him down. Number one is R. Kelly. I have nothing to say no more. Go look out. I have mixtapes on SoundCloud. Uh, I have I have like two R. Kelly mixtapes on SoundCloud. And I have him scattered all over my mixtapes. I don't care what motherfuckers are talking about. Me, I'm a DJ. I just play hard music. The other things that's going on in the side with the hoes, and all of that is saying he done this, he done that. One thing about the game, any little thing you do, once you get famous, it don't matter what level you're at. People look at you differently. And people are ready to do whatever they can do to bring you down. Games. Me, I don't play no games no more. I stay G till I die. I don't play no motherfucking games no more. In my whole life, I talk to like, to like two people. I speak to two people honestly, and we don't talk every day. And I don't even trust them too. So I only give them a little piece of my life. Like a 0.000.6% of my life. I know what it is. I've been in the streets for long doing what I'm doing and people know me. But any little thing you do once you have talent and people are getting to love you, it don't matter if you live in a neighborhood and there's 100 people and 30 of them love you. People are going to treat you differently. That's why the public don't understand about these people. Me, I don't play games. I don't chase hoes. I don't go to parties and pick up hoes and bring them back. I don't do all that shit. I used to do it when I was younger, but I didn't know. But now I graduated. I feel like I graduated to another level. Like I look at things differently. I have so much in my fucking brain to bring to the world than these simple things. Women, friends, I don't do that. That's the cause of death. The people I deal with, it be straight business. If you don't like me, I leave you alone. If you mess with me, I give you a hundred percent. Like a move like that. And when it comes to kills, 
Like his old shit is fucked up. The nigga love hoes so much. You sing about hoes. You see you love hoes in your face and everything. You can't be moving like that and doing it at the same time. You can. If I wear curls, stray wife tap, my studio's at home. And all I focus on is my family and my music. And everything else, I leave it to the world. Friends, hoes. What the fuck are you chasing hoes if you kills? What the fuck, man? What the fuck is kills living like that? Let's get back to the music, man. Some shit get on my mind, man. Kells got diamonds in his head. He's a legend. Why the fuck is he catching cases about fucking hoes? I don't even read that shit when I see it on the internet. It bothers my mind. It really bothers my mind. But I pray for him anyway. But number one is Kells. Let's hurry up. <clears throat> number two, Asher. Same thing with Asher too, man. I be thinking, man. I be making my music and I'm thinking like, all right. Like, how can I start selling Asher to these people and Kells to these people when these people are bringing out bogus stories about them too? Is it Asher this, Asher that? Some shit I don't want to talk about. It hurts. But I'm thinking, like, these are legends, man. Like, what the fuck are they thinking? Like, how are you moving like that? Number three, Chris Brown. All these niggas, man. All my niggas. But Chris... I like Chris's style. I like the way he plays around. You know, he ain't scared of saying what he wants to say. And it comes out right. Anyway, number four. Neo. Neo. I love Neo's music. He speaks to me. Like the things I've been through with my relationships. Number five. <clears throat> number five, Joe. Yeah, Joe been around since the 90s. He been doing his thing. He, he popular to the ladies, to the grown ladies. You know, the loving man, the love to be looked at differently, that move differently, that don't party all the time, that don't really be over drinking Hennessy and nigger houses and smoking weed. That's the type of people Joe talks to. They're grown and sexy. But the difference is commercial success. Joe been putting out material till, I don't know, till earlier this year. I think he said he had his last album. I don't blame him. The game switched up different. Yeah, but Joe is my number five. I've been listening to Joe since the 90s and I love his music. Anyway, I was saying number one, Kells. Number two, Asher. Number three, Chris Brown. Number four, Neo. And then Joe. R&B female musicians that I listen to Beyonce number one. Don't ask me why. Find out yourself. Number two, I'll go for Mariah Carey. Number three. Number three is Mary J. Blige. I love Mary, man. Number four, I'll go for Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. You know Alicia Keys. If you like music, if you like good music, you know about Alicia Keys. Number five. Number five, man, is my girl, Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole is like a different version of Mary J. Number one, Beyonce. Number two, Mariah Carey. Number three, Mary J. Blige. Number four, Alicia Keys. Number five, Keisha Cole. Yeah, man. All right, let's go to reggae. I listen to reggae when I'm feeling good. When I have some Hennessy, when I have some weed, on the Friday or Saturday night. And I'm in the studio chilling, you know, going through some songs. Yeah, blaze up and feel different and look at the world differently and think about peace, love, 
respect yeah peace love and respect that's all i be thinking about that's all i be thinking about that's why i don't let motherfuckers come mess up my vibe when i'm feeling good i don't need people come mess up my vibe start talking fucking funny stuff i don't understand yeah but let's go into it man number one bob marley one love i don't have to say that go check out my mixes on our uh, soundcloud and there's another one on youtube you know what this man is talking about man like he has a song called one love that's it that's it. I don't have to say nothing more. Number two, Barry's Hammond. I love Barry's Hammond. Uh, Barry's Hammond is a type of guy, you know, if you're a guy living a good life, you have a lady, you have some children, you know. Yeah, Barry's has some good game for you some good vibes grown man vibes i like barry's hammond number three i'll go for jacqua yeah yeah i listen to jacqua all the time number four taris rayleigh i love taris rayleigh he's really diverse and people love him. White people love him. Black people love him. He makes music for everybody. He talks about everything in the community. Number five is my brother from South Africa. I think he got killed in 2008. Somewhere around the time, 2007, 2008. That's Lucky Dube. You know? Uh, Lucky Dube talks about the struggle in South Africa, apartheid, uh, segregation, racism, politics, the community. He has some songs for the ladies, songs for the radio, songs for the party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lucky Dube. I love Lucky Dube, man. Like I'm saying, number one. Bob Marley, number two, Barry Hammond, number three, Jaguar, number four, Taris Rayleigh, number five, Lucky Dube. Let me go to some dancehall, man. Some dancehall. Get the fuck out of here. Some dancehall, man. Let's do some dancehall. Number one, I'll give it up to Sean Paul. His success from taking it from Jamaica and becoming a big international artist. Number one, Sean Paul. Number two, Shaggy. People who listen to music know what Shaggy is about. He speaks to the ladies. He speaks to the thugs. He speaks to the streets. I'll give it to Shaggy. And he had success that no one else can never match up to. Yeah. Number three, Vibes, Cartel. Everybody know that. Till the nigga come out, he's coming back to take his crown. Number four, Biniman. Yeah, Biniman. Girls, them sugar, nigga. A nigga make me feel like I'm the girls, them sugar, man. And then with number five, Mavado. I would say Sean Paul, Shaggy, Vibes. Benny Man and Mavado. I'm out, man. Don't forget to check me out on SoundCloud for everything else that you can find on YouTube. Let's stay growing together and keep on making a change in this world. One love. DJ exclusive. The child of God. King of the ghetto. The undisputed hustler. Yeah.
the 2018 Shakespeare year. Don't forget, man. Peace, man. One love.